We asked for update babies and we certainly got that. But is it everything we wanted? If you got into The Sims 4 on Tuesday after the infant update, then I'm jealous. I experienced three different issues with the EA app. I couldn't log in, then nothing appeared, then it was telling me I didn't own a single game, which isn't true. After all that nonsense and I finally got into the game, I realized that despite all those issues, the infant update has been good overall. It's interesting playing with a new life stage and seeing how it works. I am very excited about this and playing pleased, but honestly, this feels like a demo before the real update comes out, which is ultimately the new expansion pack growing together. It certainly feels like some things are missing from the update, so let's talk about that. There's new stuff in Create a Sim, and not just for the infants. There are numerous things included for all of the life stages, like birthmarks, stretch marks, and C-section scars. With the birthmarks, you can select the skin tone you want it to be. I do wish that there were sliders similar to the makeup so that you can change the opacity and brightness of it. Same with the stretch marks. Right now, lighter or white body hair actually looks kind of better than these stretch marks. There's something off with this. I'm sad that the various moles will only be included with growing together. As somebody with moles on my face and my body, it makes me quite sad it did not make its way to the free update. In cast, you can also choose whether or not your sim produces milk, which is handy if you want your sim to breastfeed. Apparently, newborns will now have the correct skin tone in their little portrait down here. Thank goodness. In addition, aging of newborn up will now take into consideration the genetics of the parent's skin tones which it should have all along. Unfortunately, I find the newborn sorta, kinda, pretty ugly. I know that in real life, newborns can look like old people, but holy guacamole, these babies look very old. Infants got a lot of cute stuff in Cass. I like how they have them displayed on this pillow with the pillow going transparent as you rotate. It's adorable that infants do this to show off their pants. They do move around a little bit too much for my liking, but there's always a cheat for that. Most of the clothing options are just toddler items sized down to fit the infants. I did enjoy all of the outfit choices here. I think that they're stinking cute. I'm not too sure if this is supposed to look like this here, right here, but I'm not crazy about it. It affects the design of the outfit in a very unflattering way. I'm happy that they incorporated at least one other pack with this update. You can see that there's a knitted onesie and a knitted hat from Nifty Knitting. There are a select few hairstyles to choose from, with only two being wavy or curly texture hair. I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like only three or four of these hairstyles are new. You can put these toddler sunglasses on your infant or this brand new infant option. Very cute. They have a few hats that they can wear, including this helmet. You have three teeth options if you want. I'm not sure why the baby is making this sound. When its mouth is open, it's kind of terrifying. Last but not least, these face presets are honestly a pop-up pop scare. scare. Aren't they terrifying to look at? There's something off with them. The build by options are probably the most disappointing thing from this whole update. I adore the new crib, bassinet, and shelves, but the fact that there's no changing pad or change table is incredibly disappointing. I mean, it would have been easy to include a change pad, and it would have been easy to add a diaper dedicated trash bin or something at least. Moreover, it doesn't feel like there's enough stuff. Not enough toys, decorative objects, no wall art at all, and nothing to make a base game nursery look absolutely amazing. amazing. I feel like most of the items for the nurseries will be behind the paywall that is growing together. That is a weird way to put it. If you didn't know, I was talking about an expansion pack called Growing Together. I really got nothing more to say about the build by section other than I'm disappointed. Moving on to live mode. I think it was when I entered this mode that I realized how infants are seriously just toddler heads that might be a wee bit smaller placed onto smaller bodies. I'm not mad about this. It was simply an interesting thing to notice. All right, there are a lot of new things in this mode though, from a brand new set of interactions for infants to children's skills being adjusted, new age up animations for newborns, a new baby cry, I'm pretty sure, and adults auto caring for a baby when they cry. It's all great. 
Some standout features for me would be the ability to set your preferred way of feeding your baby. Then the sim will auto do it when the baby is hungry. The option to use disposable or cloth diapers is incredible. Love it. The only thing about the diapers that I absolutely hate would be the fact that the sims leave the dirty diaper pile on the ground. It reminds me of the sims 2 babies in the worst possible way. Although if you place one of these garbage bins in their room and you drag and drop the dirty diaper into it, you can get some simoleons. So that could always be an option to deal with that. I love the fact that Sims with no romantic relationship and single Sims can have a science baby. It costs 1200 simoleons, but it's very neat. It's a great storytelling option. And lastly, I like the various new interactions between the different life stages. I think that was something that had to be improved. Actually, wait, hold up. One final standout addition to the base game would be the way they're organizing social interactions. This update has been much needed. I can't even describe how happy I am about this. Now they need to be able to pin interactions so they appear first and a way to select an interaction so the sim performs it a few times in a row without the player entering the social menu and reselecting it each time. I'm going to have an infant guide up in a week or two, so I don't really want to talk too much about them right now. I like that infants exist. That's it. That's this whole segment. Okay, bye everyone. Goodbye. No, no, I do have more to say. I like the interactions that we have with the infants. Do I feel like there should be more to this base game update? Absolutely. And I'll talk more about this in a second. The new traits for the infants are perfection. I think each one is a great mix of positive and negative elements. I don't think any of them are unfairly positive or negative, and I would genuinely like to try all of them. Unlike the toddler traits where I only ever use two of them and um, never this one. There are too many adorable new interactions with infants to list. They're all great, particularly having them try food for the first time, as well as bathing them, burping them, letting them nap in your arms, and putting them to bed. Except for when there's bugs, then that's not that great. Since I have this on my YouTube banner, I decided to live up to it and give you my opinion on this. I hate the fact that I can say this, but like always, there are new bugs in the game. There are new visual issues with the infants, like this right here, and some issues while holding or transporting an infant. For this one, I actually had to restart the game completely because resetting the sims wasn't working and they weren't really moving or doing anything. I despise the fact that infant elements like learning to walk or talk are not included in the update. On top of this, things like milestones, personality, and motor skills are also not included. Essentially everything the players were excited about are, well, you know, not included. I know what you're thinking. What did you expect? It's The Sims 4 and EA. I don't know. I really don't. I guess I was expecting better from this since it was the long awaited hashtag free the baby update. It's silly of me, I know, every time I get my hopes up, just to uh, experience disappointment. Long story short, there are no infant skills. They crawl right away. All adults immediately go to take care of the infants all the time, which is the opposite issue as before. The update is lacking in regards to infant toys. Furthermore, they've updated the descriptions for the original toys, making it unclear which ones infants can use. Dirty diapers and used bottles are left on the ground, giving everyone around it a negative moodlet. I think Sims should automatically dispose of these items, especially if there's a nearby garbage bin or hamper. Yeah, I don't want to be a negative Nancy, especially at the end of this video. I think that the infants are adorable and great. Growing together will certainly build on what's provided with this update, but overall, it's a fantastic new life stage in The Sims 4, one that people have wanted and have been excited about since they announced it. Although, I did see someone on Reddit describe the base game infants as objects with a few extra steps, and I can't stop thinking about that when I'm in-game. Do you agree or disagree with what I've said? Let me know how you feel about the brand new update in the comments section. I'm excited to hear what you think. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a quick like and subscribe for future Sims 4 update videos. Thank you again. We'll be talking about infants again very soon. I'm sure of it. Bye!